this paper is based upon records available from museum specimens, uh, museum specimens that go back well over a hundred years. We amalgamated hundreds of thousands of records from North American and European museums and without this resource um, this research wouldn't have been possible. In terms of the actually raw material for the scientific research that we did, um, that's a matter of getting accurately identified specimens over the entire history of large numbers of specimens being collected over two continents. Okay, so what we did in this research article is to look at all of the records we could find for bumblebees in, on two continents. But bumblebees are great pollinators in spring weather where it might be rainy or cool, might be cloudy. Um, the really important pollinators in Canada for that reason. Bumblebees have been observed foraging even when it's snowing or raining. We provided uh, a, a fairly large number of specimens, especially for southern Ontario. For the North American species that I work on, we know that about a third of the species are in decline. And in some cases, they've declined quite dramatically, like over 90%. So historically, they were quite common um, among the most common bees. And then uh, the rusty patch bumblebee in particular uh, was the fourth most common bumblebee in southern Ontario in, as, er, as recently as the 70s or early 80s, and I've only seen two individuals in 10 years. So that's an indication that there's something going on with bumblebees that, are pro that used to be doing quite well, but have recently just collapsed, and we're trying to figure out why it is that they've collapsed. But they're also great environmental indicators. So if we see that our bumblebees are in decline, some of them are in decline, this might be telling us something about how the ecosystem is changing. One of the important things for me is that was how many species are being impacted by climate change. That was a bit of a surprise. I had expected maybe some would be, but not such a large proportion. Um, the fact that they aren't moving north as the climate changes um, at the northern edge of their range is actually really quite worrying. These, these animals that we are having trouble finding now these bumblebee species that are in decline. Um, this didn't happen 50 years ago. We're talking about the last 20 years, 30 years. So that means that, you know, adults today, when they were children, they were seeing species that are no longer there. And one of the scariest parts of the work that I've done is just realizing how quickly this is changing.